In this lesson, we will learn about the new Viri Light Directional component, which can be used to achieve a stylized or schematic look for your render, create solar studies, and imitate sunlight with the option to change the color and softness of the shadows. Let's start by zooming in on the V-Ray Render component and creating a render in Project node. Then, simply connect it to the Render node. Now, let's switch the camera view to Render Camera Maquette, and in the Asset Editor, go ahead and start an interactive render. As you can see, we have a simple maquette or scale model scene here with a V-Ray Light Directional from Grasshopper set up as the main light source. We also have a couple of yellowish lights from the Rhino project to illuminate the interiors. You'll likely notice that the contrast and white balance of our scene is a little bit off, so to fix this, let's quickly load in a color correction file from the Assets folder of this lesson called Exterior Maquette CC. That looks better. All right, let's return back to Grasshopper now. You can see that the Light Directional node creates a result that is similar looking to the sun, and it can also be used to create sunlight studies of your scene. The advantage here is that it gives us the option to change the color of the light and the softness of the shadows. For example, increasing the shadow softness value will give us softer shadows. Again, since this light component is similar to sunlight, you can use it to quickly get a feel for how your scene will look in different lighting conditions and scenarios. To demonstrate, let's try increasing the light position slider here a few times, which will move the light's position along a custom arc curve set up in advance. Notice how the lighting changes as the render updates. The light directional component can also be used for creating solar studies, which can illustrate how shadows behave under various lighting conditions or can be employed for schematic presentations. To demonstrate, we'll first need to make a few quick adjustments to our Rhino scene. Let's stop the current render and then connect the second light directional component with the tag multiple directional lights to the light rig simple instead. This light directional has been set up in advance with a list of input positions, so that the light rig can be used to add those lights at multiple point origins. The number of input positions will determine the light's count. Next, in the Asset Editor, under the Camera dropdown, let's disable the exposure and also turn off global illumination in the right-hand flyout menu. Now, the multiple directional lights that have been set up in advance will light the scene correctly without overexposing everything. Lastly, let's also turn on the Material Override. You'll see that we have the generic white material as our override material. OK, now we're ready to start an interactive render. As you can see, there's only one directional light right now. Let's close the Asset Editor and return back to Grasshopper to increase the number of lights. You'll notice that as the number of lights increases, shadows start to appear from all angles. This is because the positions of the lights are on an arc curve which has a custom definition that follows a rough estimation of the sun's trajectory throughout the day. Solar studies like this are often used in this fashion to examine shadow casting under different sun movement scenarios. All right, now you can feel free to play around with the number of lights or adjust the rotation and angle of the arc curve. Altogether, the new V-Ray Light Directional component makes it easy to quickly simulate different lighting conditions in V-Ray Next for Grasshopper.